wabarakatuh Welcome back with me again My name is Ajeng Nabila Saskia uh, My identity number is 1901105041 I'm from Muhammadiyah Professor Dr. Hamka University From Mathematic Education And then today I want to give some explanation about the material. The material is about the matrix. I want to give some definition of the matrix and then the operation of the matrix and then the illustration or the example of the matrix. I hope this material can be usable for us. So enjoy with my video. Thank you so much. Next. Okay, for the first, I want to give some uh, explanation about the definition of the matrix. What is matrix? In a mathematics, a matrix or we can say matrices if in a plural is a rectangular array or a table of numbers, symbols, or expression arranged in rows and columns for the example the dimension of the matrix below is 2 by 3 because there are two rows and three columns and then there is an example of matrix uh, we can see in the down of the explanation that is the example of the matrix okay for the second, matrix have some types. The types of matrices are for the first. There is a zero matrix. What is zero matrix? A matrix is said to be zero matrix or null matrix if all its elements are zero. And then second is row matrix. A row matrix has only one row but any number of columns. A matrix is said to be a row matrix if it has only one row. And then the next is column matrix. A column matrix has only one column but any numbers or rows. A matrix is said to be a column matrix if it has only one column. Okay, for the next is a rectangular matrix. A matrix said to be a rectangular matrix if the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. For the last is the unit or identity matrix. If a square matrix has all elements zero and each diagonal elements are non-zero, it is called identity matrix and denoted by I. Uh, there is an illustration of matrices this is the illustration or the example of types of matrices okay for the next is there are some operation in matrix for the first is addition there are three matrices for the first is f g and h since only matrices of the same size can be added, only the sum f plus h is defined, or g cannot be added to either f or h. The sum of f and h is, so we can see in the illustration, f plus h. Uh, we can see uh, that equals to... Uh, plus 1, 3, plus minus 1, minus 5, plus 0, minus 1, plus 6, 0, plus minus 1, and 2, plus minus 3. So, we can see the result in the illustration. Okay, for the second is subtraction. Subtraction have almost same with addition. Uh, if there are two matrices uh, so we can a minus b c minus rr b minus q d minus s so we can look the result in that illustration for the thir third is multiplication there are 
to multiplication. For the first is multiplication matrix and scalar, and the second is multiplication matrix and matrix. So we can see in the next. Okay, we can see the example of both of them. And this is the example of them. For the first is multiplication matrix and scalar, the example in the top, and then the second is multiplication matrix and matrix, and then the example in the down. So, that are the example of the multiplication. Okay, next is the determinant. The determinant is a scalar value that can be computed from the elements of a square matrix and encodes certain properties of the linear transformation described by the matrix. The determinant of a matrix A is denoted like the illustration in the picture and in the right that is the illustration or the example of the determinant so we can see the the example of the illustration of the determinant there okay for the last explanation is the inverse the inverse of a matrix a is a matrix that when multiplied by a results in the identity so there is two picture in the right and in the left in the left is the formula of the inverse and then in the right is the is the illustration or the example of the inverse how about the explanation uh, from me uh, from my explanation we can know the definition of the matrix the operation of the matrix and then the example or the illustration of the matrix so i hope uh, this material can be useful for us and i say thank you so much for your attention but for once more i think uh, i say sorry if if there are some mistakes from me i I say thank you so much for your attention and I hope this material can be usable for us and uh, thank you so much for your time and don't forget to wait my next video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my video and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye! -bye.